for today we are gonna try and replace the power steering fluid on our Honda Civic hatchback a couple of weeks ago I removed and installed the power steering pump installed the internals in the correct way following a guide from YouTube from South Auto Works and then on my video my previous video I installed a wrong kind of power steering fluid it should be like this I think what I installed last week was something from Shell uh, automatic transmission fluid so according to Google and other forums it's a no-no for Honda power steering systems we only need to use this PSF power steering fluid from Honda I bought this one from the service center uh, I think $12 and then also we're going to use Lucas stop leak I found a small leak under the steering rack I'm not sure if you can see that over here but it's just right there so a few days ago we replaced the rack end tie rod end ball joint so the mechanic pulled out the boots and there was like a lot of power steering fluid over there so our goal is to use the Lucas stop leak and see if that one will work we need to drain the power steering fluid I may need to jack up the car and I'm just gonna use a hose I'm gonna try and suck them all up it's gonna be hard oh boy okay all right here we go suck them all up let's see if this one will work Woohoo! Woohoo! I don't want to drink some power steering fluid there you go oh <laughs> This will take some time. Forget about this kind of hose. Just forget this. It won't work. And I went back using the small hose. This one is working fine. You just need to wait. But it's slowly sucking out the oil. The car is on jack. And I need to find the low pressure hose later on to completely drain the automatic transmission fluid. We need to replace that with Honda and I need to keep on turning this left and right do I need to switch on the engine I'm not sure maybe no need lock to lock I guess Whew. okay I think I removed the low pressure hose and it's draining some fluid now once the low pressure hose is out you just need to turn the steering wheel lock to lock and then let it drip I think there's still one hose but it's kind of hard for me to remove the other one anyways it's it's dripping some power steering fluid right now so I just need to wait then stall back the hose and then Install new Honda power steering fluid plus the Lucas one bottle of Lucas top leak. I hope it will work. Okay. I think I drained uh, About one liter. I don't know. I Think this is not enough But I removed the low pressure hose and I think I spilled some oil on the floor. That's okay now We're gonna add the Honda coolant I'm not cool. The Honda power steering fluid, just a little bit, and I'm not sure why it's not color red. Or maybe I need to shake it. I didn't. And then the Lucas. My name is Lucas. I think we need to shake this first. Give me a sec. It's really hard to shoot and then do this kind of stuff, you know. Okay, all the way says that we can add one bottle or maximum two bottles of Lucas with stop lick so I'm just gonna ooh, this looks this one looks or feels like gel okay let me just pour all the bottle in and this is kind of hard right so after I filled up the tank started the engine for like five seconds and it sucked some fluid power steering fluid and then we just need to add more I think we also need to bleed the power steering system let it run for a few minutes till we have a good level over here so I think the reason why 
we don't want to use automatic transmission fluid on Honda power steering system because this power steering fluid of Honda is quite thick. Maybe I'm going to try to do a video next time about this Honda power steering fluid and then some automatic transmission uh, fluid. Okay, so I'm going to update this video after two weeks or a month and see if there will be some leaks or if we are successful. Adios.